So if you're manufacturing a product with fewer than 100,000 units in the next cycle, you should definitely be considering additive manufacturing. The main reason, first of all, for this is just cost. 3D printing is able to produce 100,000 parts more affordably than injection molding. The cost of raw materials for things like FDM mass production are the same as injection molding. So there's no reason that it can't in that regard. And then mass scale print farms like we have at Slant 3D are able to produce those parts very quickly, very reliably, very consistently. So you eliminate all of the traditional cost of setup before you even get your first part and instead you're able to go down to a more slow burn kind of production as you need it kind of a model. So if you're only looking for 100,000 units, it can be done affordably at that level. But you also have to consider that you now have a whole new set of advantages. Since you're no longer locked in to having literally carved your product into stone with traditional tooling, you can now pursue more variations of the product. So rather than 100,000 of a single SKU, you might do 10,000 of 10 separate SKUs. You might vary color, you might be able to better market test what the item is able to do. And then at the end of that first run, you can change the product without again incurring that external capital expenditure. And this applies to whatever the product is. Might be something small and cheap, might be something larger and complex. Within each of those, make sure that you are designing for the process. Do not attempt to take some old traditional design and have it 3D printed, you will generally be disappointed by that. But if you optimize for the process, you can now start extending beyond 100,000 units and never actually need to use traditional manufacturing. 3D printing offers you so many advantages, not only in the fact that it can hit that scale of 100,000 units, but it can give you that greater flexibility and allow you to test and iterate on your product more quickly without having to worry about that capital expense every single time, hoping that you're correct. So if you are considering making parts and there's fewer than 100,000 units, you need to get quotes from additive manufacturing companies. Get them from everybody else too, but you need to consider this other option because you're leaving a huge amount of resources on the table and floating away or stuck in another country when you could internalize them and deploy them towards making your products even better. Have a great day, everybody.